Good afternoon, May 20th. I want to read you something out of uh, St. Luke. Chapter 24. Uh, verses 36 through 49. It's called Jesus appearing to the ten, not to the eleven. And we know there's only 11 because one of them betrayed Jesus, huh? And then there's still Thomas, which was going to doubt that he even showed up. But here we go. And Now, in this reading, you're also going to notice where he speaks about repentance. Okay? Jesus does. And this is after he was resurrected. Uh, and a lot of people are speaking against these things. That's why I say we have to be very, very careful because we're at the door. Right now. Uh, you don't want to be deceived. That's why I'm saying let go of a lot of this stuff. Because this stuff is over, man. It's, I mean, it's way over. Way over. And when I hear people, you know, it says, Blessed are those that uh, have hope in his appearing. Hope in him. And I hear so many people say, oh, I hope not. I hope not. And I'm like, oh, wow, you know. But, I mean, I guess that's the way it is, because it says narrow and straight is the way that leads into the kingdom of heaven. You know? And people have their reasons for saying, I hope not. But uh, there should be no reason. You know? None. But anyhow, let me get to this. Jesus appears to the ten. And, as they thus spoke, Jesus himself stood in the midst of them. And said unto them, Peace be unto you. But they were terrified and affrighted. <laughs> and supposed that they had seen a spirit. And he said unto them, Why are you troubled? And why do thoughts arise in your hearts? Behold my hands and my feet. That it is I. That it is I myself. Handle me, and see, for a spirit has not flesh and bones, as ye see me have. And when he had thus spoken, he showed them his hands and his feet. And while they were yet believed not for joy, and wondered, he said unto them, Have ye here any meat? For they, have, for they gave him a piece of a broiled fish and a honeycomb. And he took it, and he did eat before them. And he said unto them, These are the words which I spoke unto you, while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled, which were written in the law of Moses, and in the prophets, and in the Psalms concerning me. Then opened he their understanding that they might understand the scriptures. And said unto them, Thus it is written, that thus it be behooved Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day. And that repentance, key word, did you hear that? The repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name along all nations beginning at Jerusalem. And ye are witness of these things. And behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you. But tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until ye be endured with power from on high. You know, that's where he showed up for the, t for the ten. And you know that had to have been like, wow. You know, because they all knew he suffered a horrible death. A horrible death. I mean, he was beaten, flagged, flogged. Um, you see all these people that come on here. Anybody that's speaking against anything on this site? I've noticed where some of you are uh, trying to... Uh, straighten out certain people that are re that are coming against uh, the word of the Lord, you know. And one thing you have to know 
is Jesus said, you'll know them by the fruits of their mouth. And, you know, just like I know people when I hear them, when I say, show them the picture of the angel, what's getting ready to happen. And when I show people this, and they say to me, I hope not. You know, that tells me a lot more about them than they know. See, because those that truly love the Lord and they seek His appearing, they would never say that. Never. Never say that. You know? It's just like I when I had people offer me... Uh, to build my business back up. They said, Mark, we'll turn your business around. We'll build it up bigger than it's ever been. I'm talking big chains, Leslie Pools, all them. Big chains, man. They were going to start giving me their business if I just speak less about Jesus Christ. Well, <laughs> I couldn't do it. Yeah, I, I couldn't do it. I could not do it. I live in my truck. I've been in it for a long time. I could not do it. Do you see what I'm saying? If the Holy Spirit is truly dwelling in you, you would never speak against anything or against others that truly love the Lord. So know them, like he said. These are Jesus' words. You'll know them by the fruit of their mouth. You know, I might try to correct somebody if they're a little misunderstood about something, okay? Okay. But I'm not going to rebuke them like that. But if I see that they're anti-Christ or trying to say that there is no resurrection, you don't go to the kingdom and stuff like that, I know them by the fruits of their mouth, and as you should too. And it says to comfort one another. Don't waste your time uh, with these people because that's what they want you to do. I've checked some of these people out too. And they've got hundreds of people following them on their site. Hundreds. And then why are they wasting their time coming onto my site trying to say that, you know, nobody's going to heaven. Nobody's, you know, why would they do that? Yeah, you know, and then look at the things that they're looking at. The people that they like, that they like listening to. And a lot of them are the ones that I don't like to listen to, that I know that are making scriptures like they are uh, getting words from the Lord and be saying things different than what's written in the Bible. You know, everything that's written in the Bible is everything that we need to know. And the Lord gave us exactly what we need to know. He said he'd pour his spirit out on us. That we would see visions and see dreams and, uh, you know, which I have. I've been seeing them. But at no time has he ever uh, told me to rewrite down stuff to tell you, you know, never. He's never told me to do that. Um, I have one time where I had heard somebody say, you know, they took a, like a 4x4 four four post and somebody was breaking out the windows everywhere. And that's I didn't see their face or anything like that. And I'm like, what the heck, you know? And this was b just before that I seen like nuclear bombs going off in another dream. As far as I could see, um, God's turning uh, our enemies against this nation to destroy it. You know what I mean? It, and people will, you know, just like he's going to put a hook in their mouth and bring them around Israel, and he's going to destroy them out there as well. The people that come against America to be destroyed, they're going to be destroyed as well, okay? Um, those who are of the Lord... You know, we'll, we'll be saved by him. And we won't be able to uh, go against him at all. We won't be able to. You know, when I had people try to off, offer me money to turn my life around, if I would speak less, I wouldn't do it. You know, I wouldn't do it. And uh, no more do I look like getting on other people's sites and, uh, and sitting there bickering with them about it. I'll make one statement about the written word of God is true, and that's what I will believe in, not what other people are saying he said to say. You know, everything that the Lord said is written in the King James Version, Red Letter Edition, and it's not, you know, and he did not forget to tell me anything that isn't already written. 
You know, just like I always keep telling everybody what's written in here, St. Luke. Um, it's written in there, chapter 21, um, 54 through 56, where it says, Pray that ye be found worthy to escape these things. And then Revelation 3, it clearly says, You did not deny my name. Therefore, I'm going to spare you the moment of trial that's coming upon this whole earth. And these are the horrible things that are getting ready to happen. Have you ever noticed even these four-wheel drive trucks that say four times four? Forty-four, that's Obama's number, four and four. And uh, four times four is 16. This is the year 16. Everything's right in front of us, man. Uh, it's right in front of us. We can see, I can understand a blind person not seeing it. But, uh, you know, that's why I say turn off your televisions and start looking around you. And you're going to, you, it might take a little while. Don't turn that TV on so quick. Stop playing these video games. Have you seen these video games, the evil stuff that they got out there, man? It's, it's wicked. And not to mention, look at all the time people spend on it doing this. Um, man, if I could. I would like to go into every church and sit back and uh, go over everything, you know, what we see happening and stuff, you know. But a lot of these pastors don't want us in there, they, you know, because a lot of them are part Illuminati members and stuff like that. They entered their churches a long time ago. Another thing I've noticed in my travels, traveling everywhere, I've seen a lot of churches that were for sale, shutting down. Not only shutting down... I've seen where Donald Trump had representatives and they're trying to buy churches right after the services, you know, with his uh, picture of his, on a vehicle, Trump. And ain't it funny how, you know, here I have an angel with a Trump, a trumpet blowing over my head, and we also, here it is, 2016, 44, 4x4 four four pickups, 44 is Obama's number, 2016. We also have somebody with the last name of Trump. Huh? You see what I'm saying? All this thing is in front of us, and time is winding out. It's finished. It's going to be great famine, diseases, people dying of all kinds of horrible stuff. <coughs> this is I'd shut your TVs off and get ready, man. Ain't it obvious, you know? We got something by the last name of Trump. You know, I mean, these are these things are red flags, man. We should. See. It's not just a coincidence. You know, it's a coincidence that we got four by four trucks with forty four, four by four, which is four times four is sixteen. This is twenty sixteen. We know Obama's the forty fourth president. You know what I mean? All this. Stuff is right in front of us, man, and you're not going to see it as long as you... You know how it says faith of a mustard seed? Just a little bitty tiny mustard seed? Man, I'm telling you, man, if you would just start pulling some weeds, get rid of this worldly garbage that we got all around us, you know what I mean? And if you got children, man, save them. Get them out of that stuff, man. Open their eyes to, to what's going on. Show it to them. You know, it's like planting a seed so they might begin to see, you know, instead of leaving them in the dark. Your children, they're, they're old enough to see, and that's your job, to point it out to them, you know. Don't leave them in the dark. Let them see these things. Expose it to them. You'd be surprised how sharp your children are. And then they'd start looking at these things that they thought they were enjoying were actually just snares. They're traps pits dug out for them, you know, they'd start seeing these things, and then start seeking the Lord, and knowing how much more real He is, um, it's like pulling weeds, man, I mean, you know, when I first got married, my ex-wife, the house, we had a corner lot, um, was just full of weeds. The whole it looked horrible. It was a beautiful location. We were right across the street from a bird sanctuary. I spent I'm gonna say after five years of fixing that house up and then going out there in that front yard every day I would pick some the first day probably a garbage can full of weeds, you know. 
And it took a while, man. I got a garbage can, and I was like, you know, drug him out to the curb for the trash man to pick up. I looked out there going, man, you know, there's a lot of weeds. I must have got probably, I'm going to say, 15 garbage cans full of weeds out of the front yard, pulling them out by hand. And uh, But this is going out there every day, every other day. Just kept at it until I got them. Then I had big bald spots out there. I'd throw big pieces of grass out and then watering it down. And then, uh, boy, I mean, it got looking good, you know what I mean? And I started uh, remodeling. I tore out all the old windows, put in new windows. I did all kinds of stuff, man. All kinds of stuff. And uh, put everything that we had into it, fixing it up. And new roof, new everything. The house had termites in it where it was eat, ate out. You know, these termites, what they did is they ate out right along where the bathroom were, the copper pipes. Because, see, when you turn your water on, those copper pipes, um, they sweat. And that's moisture. And when they sweat like that, the termites get their water from it. And that's where they eat out the wood all around it. Everywhere they they could. Then they'd eat as far as they could away from that water. They'd stop. They wouldn't eat anymore. There's no water they're not going to eat, you know. So when I, I learned all this from remodeling. And uh, so what I did, I cut out all that uh, copper piping in there when I tore out the walls in there. Because you wouldn't have believed what I did. Really nice work. New, I did some uh, mosaics of tiling. Of like it was called the eye of the storm, you know, where it was rocks going around, looked like a hurricane, but it was all in rocks inside the bathroom and the walls where you shower and stuff. Um, some really nice work. But uh, I figured since I was in there, what I would do, instead of just covering it all back up, because I had to replace all that rotten wood too. And uh, so what we did is we cut the PB, or cut the, uh, copper out and I put in PVC so that way it doesn't sweat and there's no water so there's nothing you know what I mean and if you're going to fix something you might as well do that other, whatever stuff you know what I mean it'd be kind of crazy to put that same wood new wood in and still have this pipe sweating you know what I'm saying um, that's why I got put out of business because I did all the extra stuff to fix things to where I knew I could tell you it was going to last, and it would last. Um, anytime I would fix something, I always looked for the reason what caused the damage. You know, even though I was just a painter, you know, I was taught how to fix things. You know, and I don't just fix them without first knowing what caused the problem. And see, the same thing is in the Word of God. You know, we have to know what caused the problem. You know. And uh, division, and it's all in there. The Word of God, Jesus Christ says it. Division, a house divided cannot stand. Everybody can see what's going on around here. We know it. But uh, nonetheless, um, it's a little dark in here. I got my sun thing up, yes, you know, because camping out here, yeah, you know, and that's I guess that's illegal too. But that's the way it is for now. Um, like I said, uh, I wouldn't change anything. You know, I just wish things would have been a little bit different. I would have been a little bit more prepared to do a better job. But I guess the Lord knows everything that we're doing. You know, we do it to the best of our ability. Um, there's a lot of people out there. To deceive you, setting traps, snares. Try not to waste time with people on my sites, even, because they're on every site, you know, and that's what they do. They love to cause conflict, division. They love it. Don't give them five minutes of your time. Just know them for who they are. And when I see them, I'm going to flag them. I try to get rid of them right away. Because it's not the person there that you think you're dealing with, it's a spirit that's in them. Okay, it's a demonic spirit. See, I've witnessed this because I have because I have this angel above my head here, blowing that trumpet. I've had things uh, brought to my attention, shown to me, literally shown to me. It would blow you away if you would have seen what I seen. 
It would have blown you away. I mean, I literally, this is the stuff I've seen you'd see in, uh, like, horror movies or something, you know? Like, you'd think is impossible. Um, they jump in people. They host people, you know? These are demons. They're the fallen angels with Satan. Um, it's, there's a lot of people that don't understand this, you know? Satan came here. His fallen angels, they're spirits. That's what they are. They're spirits, and they host people. And he's always wanted to destroy us. See, they hosted in us all these years. And people that were dead in Christ, they could host in you and control you like a puppet. And when I started showing this photo of this angel, I'm going to tell you this is the truth now. You know, you know who believed this more than anybody and did not have any doubt whatsoever? Satan. Satan had no doubt what this was. See, Satan, all, he knew his time was at hand. That's why everything's happening as quick as it is. See, that's a little clock right there by that white horse. That's, that's, this was a message to Satan. Can you believe that? That that was a message to Satan. You wouldn't think so, huh? Why do you think I, I told you I had them moving in all around me in my shop? When I lived in a, uh, when I lived in a shop in uh, Clearwater, Florida. I was showing, I think, boy, they moved in around me like flies on dung. You know what I mean? They were around me like you would not believe. And uh, they rented every space that there was around me. And this place had vacant spots all over the place. It was in the ghettos. All of a sudden, it was a real prosperous area, you know? Um, it's just crazy. And uh, they kept trying to bribe me into, you know, working, offering me really good money, man. One person offered me 400 a day. My old football coach offered me a job, Tampa Bay Lightning Stadium. Tampa Bay Lightning Stadium. What did they say? Satan fell down like lightning, huh? You see what I'm saying? People after churches, they can't wait to get home to turn those games on, can they? You see what I'm saying? We gotta let this stuff go. And be looking for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Um... I, don't, I feel like I don't have very much time left. This is like, this is coming to an end. I don't, you know, I can't explain it. I'm just telling you, I feel like it. The dream I had last night, man, it was like I didn't like it. And I'm like, Lord, please, you know. I pray, Lord, take me out of here. Because, I mean, what I seen was it's not going to be good. Starvation and stuff like that. Nothing to eat. And then, um, you know, people are going to be putting whatever they can together with uh, human body parts and stuff in there. They're going to be eating flesh and stuff. I, you know, that's what I've seen. And it's going to be mixing and mixing and mixing, and they're going to try to get it to where, you know, you're not going to have a variety of stuff to eat. It's just going to be like gut fill stuff, you know, but it's going to be with human flesh in it. People are going to be eating uh, people. It's going to be a horrible thing what's about to happen. All these cars, everybody driving around doing everything they're doing right now, it's, it's going to be a horrible place to be. Yeah, and then eventually this all will be destroyed, every bit of it. Yeah, so people are hanging on. If you knew what you were hanging on to, you'd let it go real quick. You'd let it go right now if you truly knew what I knew. You know? And I, I knew this several years ago. I didn't know it was as much as that I see now. You know, I didn't... I didn't know that all this was coming to hand right now, like I know. You know, but it is. And it's not only is it coming, it's... It's coming at a faster rate. You know? At a much faster rate. And we're, we're out of time. You know? Don't waste your time bicking with any of these people on my channel. I see it already, man, and I'm, I'm flagging them. See, unfortunately, I don't have a regular computer because I know there's a spot if you have a regular computer where you can go right over there and um, block them. 
and I don't have that. All I got is my cell phone, but I'm flagging them. I'm pushing them, flagging, 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 which I'm hoping um, the people that are running this site will block them for me, you know. I don't know how to do it on here. If I did, I would be doing it. Trust me. I've had somebody tell me how to do it, you know, on a computer, but I don't have a computer. You know, all I've got is this cell phone. Um, but I would definitely love to get them off because, like I said, I've, I've got the ability, I can see who's who on here just by what comes out their mouth. It's easy to see. Like I say, once you guys shut your TVs off and stuff like that, get out of, let go of this worldly stuff, um, I wouldn't even keep up with these games either. None of this stuff, man, because this ain't a game what's at hand right now, man. Let go of everything in this world right now and uh, just get ready. We got to be seeking his coming, okay? Seeking his coming because those that aren't seeking his coming, you risk being left behind. Those that are watching, keeping up with worldly things, you risk being left behind. You know, it's nothing, you know, it says, man, this is a serious thing. He, and he says, if you're lukewarm, I'll spit you out. Lukewarm. In other words, man, we, we should be hot and on fire for this right now. I know there's a lot of you guys that are, but trust me, there's people that want to get you to be as lukewarm as possible. You know? And like I said, lot, there's more demons hosting people than you can fathom. I know this already. I've seen it. And they've showed themselves to me. Why did they show? Because of that picture, I guess, with the angel above my head, you know. But, I mean, what they showed me was like as if, you know, seeing something that I have that I can't even stop. I can't stop, but he can, and he is going to. Yeah, but they they let me know they're everywhere. They're everywhere. It's it's like it's like looking at a dog that's infested with fleas. Yeah, and the only difference is I can't get it off off of it. That's that's the difference. You know, can you imagine seeing a dog that's infested with fleas? Well, that's what this feels like when I'm looking at people out here. What's going on in the world? It looks like it's infested with fleas. Yeah, and the devils, the fleas, and the demons that are here, you know? It's everything that you don't like. Remember what I said, man. Let this place go, man. Don't hang on to it. And don't waste your time bickering with these people because time is of the essence. We don't want to be bickering with these people but have, be seeking our Lord Jesus Christ. When they, when they come out uh, speaking against, saying all negative stuff, Know them by the fruit that comes out of their mouth. Don't waste your time with them. Instead, comfort one another, okay? I enjoy that when I read that and I see uh, you guys talking with one another, comforting one another. And it says that in the Bible, too. These guys that are coming in here with this negative stuff, they're trying to stop that. They don't want you to comfort one another. But instead, they want to sit there and cause conflict. Don't let them do that, okay? God bless you. Be with the Holy Spirit. Keep the full armor of God on. And uh, remember what I said. These televisions, these games, those are the things that divide us from the truth. They don't want you seeing what's coming or how it's going to happen, okay?